Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are back with another Switch review and I'm out here grinding and I'm here reviewing Switches that you might haven't heard of. Today, we are reviewing a very familiar Switch, a Switch that I had reviewed before and got a lot of nice feedback. We are back with the Apple Makers Wisteria Switch, but this time it's a tactile version. So let's all take a look and listen at the Wisteria Tactile Switch. A very quick disclaimer before the video starts that the Switches was sent by Apple Maker for a review but I wasn't paid to make the video and regardless I'll give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about the Switches. If you will be interested with the Mysterio Tactiles, I'll place my affiliate links on the description down below and shout out to Apple Maker. Let's take a look at the switches. This is a 5 pin tactile switch and they are using POM plus PTFE on these stems. Now these are one of the smoothest stems that I've tried this year as it's known for its low friction making that scratchless and smooth keystrokes. For the top housing it's using P uh, polycarbonate and PA66 on the bottom housing. Now I like this combo as it reduces that aggressive pitch on a tactile when bottoming out. Now the spring has a pre-travel of 2mm and a total travel of 3.1mm and with an actuation force of 46 grams. Switches comes in pre-factory lube and would cost you around $9.99 for a set of 30 pieces. So in today's video, we'll not be doing a sound comparison of a stock versus lube as the switches comes in pre-factory lube. For the sound test, we'll be using of course the Vega 65 and I'll put my configurations down below. Now please do keep in mind before the sound test starts that the sound and experience will always vary depending on your keyboard build, meaning to say that it will sound and feel different depending on your board. Now with all of that out of the way, Please do enjoy the sound is on the Wisteria tactile switch. And that was the sound is on the Wisteria Tactiles. Please do let me know on what you think about them on the comment section down below and let's have some quick discussions. If you also made it up to this point of the video, would like to say thank you for staying and now let's talk about my thoughts and opinion about the Switch. First, let's talk about my thoughts on the feel. On stock or with the pre-factory lube out of the box, it was actually sufficient enough to be consistent as it didn't have that raw plastic feeling when typing. But I still stand by to my opinion that I think for tactile switches, when it comes to pre-factory lube, you really need to have your own take to it. Like I think some of you may find it a bit lacking or some would actually find it enough. Basically, it would boil down to your preference when it comes to the pre-factor lube on a tactile switch. Now, tactility-wise, it has that really early rounded bump that you can notice right away. Now, I would now at first, I find it a bit aggressive and light with the 46 gram actuation force for my preference, but that short pre-travel, I actually like it as it has that nice nappy response while typing. Now let's move on and talk about my thoughts on the sound. Out of the box with the pre-factory lube, 
I didn't hear any spring ping and leaf crunches. A bit of a scratches, but it's not that noticeable when typing all throughout. I can say it's smooth and sound wise, it is usable out of the box. Now for the sound profile, it has that very snappy and clacky pitch to it and you can really hear the tactility when typing. I can say that it sits on the middle when it comes to the sound profile, like it doesn't sound that aggressive or subtle for a tactile switch, just in between but sits on the higher pitch. Overall, it's a very decent tactile switch, but I'm a bit 50-50 on these. Like, I can't really see myself using this on a daily, but I would consider it for a build if ever I'm craving for a medium range tactility, especially for gaming as it has a quite short travel to it and giving that light actuation force. Now for the price that it offers, I can say you can't go wrong on these. The pre-factory loop was decent again and still has that good sound and feel out of the box. And that's it for the video guys, I hope you all enjoyed the review on the Wii Stereo Tactiles and I hope you do find it helpful. If you do, please don't forget to like the video to help out the channel grow. And what's next? Well, we have two new boards to review and I'm very excited to show it to you guys and also a bunch of switches as I try to finish the year strong. So please stay tuned for that and also I am wishing you a happy holidays and again please don't forget to like the video, share if you want and of course subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on the next Soundist. Peace.